So in this video we're going to show that the product of a times b transpose is equal to b transpose times a transpose. Now we're going to do this in two steps. The first step we're going to look at a simpler case where the matrix b is just a column vector. So think about a as a n by n matrix and v as an n by 1 column vector. Then we want to show that a times v transpose is equal to v transpose times a transpose. Okay, so the first step we want to show that a times v transpose is equal to v transpose times a transpose. So let's expand this left hand side first. So a times v, if I write a in terms of its columns, so a1 is the first column of a, a2 is the second column, etc., up to the nth column of A times the vector V whose coordinates are V1 to Vn and then we're going to want to transpose this whole thing so let's look at what's inside the parentheses first that's just going to be V1 times the column vector A1 plus v2 times the column vector a2 all the way up to vn times the column vector a n. And now we take the transpose of this whole thing, which is equal to v1 now times the row vector a1 transpose plus etc plus vn times the row vector a n transpose so now these are row vectors and I can write this again in matrix form so this is just a row vector formed by the entries of v times the matrix whose first row is A1 transpose, second row is A2 transpose, etc. Here we have AN transpose. And this matrix here is exactly the matrix A transpose, and this is the transpose of the column vector V. So this is V transpose. So we've arrived at V transpose times A transpose, which is the right-hand side here. So that's what we wanted to show. Okay, so now we've already established that for a column vector V, A times V transpose is equal to V transpose times A transpose. Now we want to use this to show our original goal that for two matrices, A and B, where the product a times b is defined, then a times b transpose is equal to b transpose times a transpose. So I'm going to show that these two are equal row by row. So let's look at the ith row of the left hand side. Well, what is the ith row of the left hand side going to be? Well, that's just going to be the ith column of a times b transposed. Okay, so the ith row of the left-hand side is the ith, so this is equal to the ith column of the product a times b, this thing transposed. And now what is the ith column of a times b? Well, this is a times the ith column of b, then we have the transpose. So this here is the ith column of b. So now this is just a column vector, so we can use what we've already established. I can apply this equality to this, so this is equal to bi transpose times A transpose. But this is exactly the ith row of the right-hand side. 
right? So what is the ith row here? Well, remember we said that the ith row of a product of two matrices is equal to the uh, ith row of B transpose times A transpose. But the ith row of B transpose is simply the ith column of B transpose. So therefore, these two things are the same. So now we establish for an arbitrary row that the ith row of the left hand side is equal to the ith row of the right hand side. Therefore, these two matrices are the same.